the Golden Eagle monitoring effort uh, started rather serendipitously with a conversation with Mike Lanzone back in 2010. He had been involved with this project in the eastern United States, and he asked what the status of Golden Eagles were in Alabama. And basically the notion was is that Golden Eagles were just accidental or rare species in the state, and uh, the idea was they were western birds mostly. And then he brought up the, uh, the idea that, hey, wait a second, you know, there's an eastern population that migrates, and you ever considered that the eastern golden eagles are actually birds from the east? And my role still is kind of in the, in the core group of, of people that are doing the, the data analysis and uh, making transmitters uh, specific for uh, what we're doing, which is the, the higher frequency data uh, that, that we're collecting. There's very little known about golden eagles in the eastern United States. What we did know, though, is that it is migratory, uh, these are birds that breed in the eastern provinces of Canada. Following breeding, they work their way south, typically along the Appalachian chains, and winter in the remote forested regions of the eastern United States. And uh, since these birds readily come to carrion, the idea was made to uh, put out some deer carcasses, which is their preferred item of prey. We established a bait site out at what was now Truck Trail 20. Uh, where we had had previous sightings of golden eagles before. We uh, selected the field, uh, established a, a camera post, and measured off 12 feet to where the bait would be placed, and from there uh, started baiting with roadkill. There's actually a couple of different projects going on here. One is the, the camera trapping project, and that's basically we're using uh, camera traps, which are motion sensitive cameras set up over a bait pile, and uh, if any animal or any movement crosses in front of that camera, it traps the animal in a picture. And we can use that to look at the distribution of golden eagles throughout the east. Um, we have 247 camera traps set up from Maine down to Alabama and Florida and east or west to Arkansas. We put together a map of all the records of Alabama prior to our effort and uh, we're able to identify some areas that, uh, where we had multiple records of birds where those would be the most likely places to put out our bait stations. Uh, wildlife freshwater fisheries played a very important role in getting this going. Uh, as managers of these wildlife management areas, we had several biologists that stepped up and uh, was able to participate with this. Uh, having a bait station on the Talladega has really given insight into the wider predator community that's found here from coyotes to possums to vultures to golden eagles and it uh, gives you appreciation of the things that go on when we're not there to see them and uh, this whole project is really kind of building a, a larger coalition within Alabama to hopefully conserve and protect golden eagles within our range. So the second project we're, we're looking at is um, we're looking at a movement ecology of golden eagles in eastern North America. And we do that by capturing a golden eagle and putting a telemetry unit on their back. And then we, we collect a location um, every 15 minutes of where they're at during daylight hours. Between 2011 to 2013, those winters, um, we had confirmations at five locations of eagles and almost all of those had more than one eagle visiting those sites. The way this transmitter is programmed, that it's called a geofence. And this geofence uh, essentially tells the, the transmitter to stop trying to transfer data once it's north of that 50th latitude, okay? It just starts collecting the data and storing it on the, the transmitter itself. And this is, this is an important element because the bird spends up to six months of his time north of the 50th parallel. And the way it's programmed is it enables it once it passes south of that 50th parallel latitude, heading southbound again, at first connection with a cell tower, it'll do a total data dump. And we'll have all that information just like that. And up to this point in time, we have seven birds that we're currently tracking. We have a unique situation here. There's not a lot of species that we can say, you know, winter solely within the, in, within the U.S. And the eastern golden eagle is, is one of those species. And so we have a unique oppor opportunity here to be able to put transmitters on these birds, study in detail how they're using the habitat, and then directly manage that habitat for um, golden eagles and a lot of, you know, larger other species as, as well. But knowing how golden eagle fits into that I think is really important and something we have high responsibility in the U.S. to be able to do.